Today is day 15. Uh, the puppies were all weighed today and had their first puppy worming. And they're all just been fed by Bindi, who's now been fed herself and gone running around the place. We have a couple with their eyes open. This little one with the white head, all white head and, oh, let me get down. And um, she's actually got the gorgeous blue eyes. I don't know if she's gonna let me see them. But she's got blue eyes. Yeah, I don't really wanna disturb them all though. Oh, gorgeous babies. That's, that's just their soft toy in there. Same colour as them almost. They're all doing really, really well. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful. They're thriving, putting on weight. As I said, they're starting to open their eyes. So I think in the next couple of days, they will all have their eyes open. Yeah, just giving you a catch up. Hopefully next time they've got their, um, they're walking around and their eyes open. Something a little bit more interesting for you, but they're just so precious. And look at this little girl. She is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Somebody asked me if I show them the runt of the litter. We didn't really have a runt. There's a, two of the females are slightly smaller on the, because females usually are. But there certainly wasn't any struggling, weak little puppy at all. They were all chubbers. And of course, the one with the dark blue collar is a boy. And he weighs the heaviest at over a kilo. Yeah, so. <laughs> all good in the world. Good afternoon. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm going to do a very, hopefully it's a very quick little test pour before I do a bigger one. It's kind of um, combining the Dutch pour with the Aussie kiss and blow. So we'll see how we go. So it's just with a few leftover colours. But I've just gone and dropped a bit of navy in. I don't know where that came from, but never mind. It'll all be good. So I hope you're having all having a good weekend and I hope that you're all finding something that gives you joy and relaxes you. Um, exactly what I've been doing today is try and find things that um, to do that, that make me feel comfortable and, and settled instead of anxious. So here we go. I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's very much appreciated. So I have got this on a little spinner, but I, this is the little um, spinner that I got from Capriol Shabby Chic. And it's excellent because it's all plastic and it's fully washable. So if you get paint on it or anything, you can just put it straight in the, your bowl and wash it. So it's really good, really good. Okay. A simple pimple one. I'm going to do my base colour with this bit of, um, this was the Berry Delicious that I make up myself. Now I made this particular one out of Crimson, Phalo Blue and if you want it to go even darker then you add a little blob of black. So this one's just the, um, actually I'll probably need some more water in that. Uh, this one, I didn't add the blob of black in, so it didn't go so dark. So just going to add some more water because everybody keeps reminding me with these kind of Dutch pour Aussie kisses, I need it really, the paint really thin. So let's see how this one goes. So it hopefully should look really... The colours will blend beautifully because it's this deep cherry and I've got silver and pink. So I'm going to try and do it with just the minimal amount of colours that if it works really nicely and looks good then I will do the big version of it. Now I think this paint had um, silicone in it so because it's leftover paint. 
and I probably um, not put silicone in these Dutch pores, especially for this bottom coat that I'm doing now. So I hope I've got enough. So this was the Montmartre Silver, and as you can see, I've just tried to do it a little bit thinner than I normally would, even though the um, metallics I, I try to keep really um, thick because they kind of sink, but hopefully in this particular one, it won't. And this was just the pink. So yeah, I wanna hopefully do a bigger pour in very, uh, this style in very minimal colors. So I might add some more silver in here. This is what I seem to do is add too much, but because I'm doing the Aussie Kisses in it, I also want something to um, basically to kiss into. So we can just try it anyway. I'll see how we go on this small one. Hopefully it's a quick little ditty for you. So I'll get my, I'm just thinking if I should do this with the mini blower. Uh, I'll do, okay, I will do it with the mini blower because my dog has run off with the um, end off my blow dryer, you know, the diffuser end. So I don't know where he's took it, but I suppose when I find it, it's going to be well and well and truly chewed. So I've just changed my USB for the blower. So I'm hoping that my camera doesn't stop at that. All right, we'll give this a try. Let's just put a bit more fluidy paint on there. Hopefully. I just thought it'd be nice with a minimal colors. Let's see. So this is the little mini blower. I got this from um, Capriol Shabby Chic online. The um, link is down below, but I believe if you're in the US, Canada, or um, United Kingdom, EU, you can get them off Amazon. So they're a good little blower. So it works off a USB. So we'll try it. Those colours do go lovely with that. Berry colour, must admit, that's beautiful with that. Not going to go any further off the canvas, except maybe a little bit. I'll blow back the opposite way now, so just to cover my canvas. Definitely works better when your paint is thinner. So it's taken me a long time to let me thin my paints down because I just felt that oh my goodness I'm you know they're going to be too thin and it's not going to work out so I will cover the edges but it's not um I just finger pop the edges so on my little spinner and I may just give it a little few minutes to absorb into the canvas then I'll try my balloon kissing or should I try it now that colours are lovely, I must admit, I like that. For whatever reason, it's going, I can see the canvas through there, and this is what I always think, it's because the paint is so thin, so not sure, but um, it could be because this particular paint has got silicon in it, and you wouldn't normally add silicon, I don't think, for the Dutch pouring. A balloon, oh my goodness, okay. I've got no water balloon at the moment, so that I'll just try this really <laughs> deflated little fellow. So it looks kind of weird, but I'm gonna just try to see what my kiss and blow. So I just wanna do the kisses on the very, very bottom. So anywhere that I do feel it's got not enough paint, at least you can push the balloon into it to cover it. I think these colours would look divine on a big canvas, don't you? Do you? I think that would be very, very nice. So it's just, normally I would just use my, it's just an ordinary size balloon, but I fill it just with water to give it that bit of weight. But this one 
seems to be doing the trick. So I think that's quite sweet. Ooh, I like it. In fact, I was going to blow this out a bit further, but I don't think I will. I might just make sure that the canvas is covered. There's absolutely no reason why you don't can you you can't use your fingers. Remember, um, the only rule is there's no rules, so your art room, your way, guys, and don't freak out about feeling nervous about doing these pores because it's only paint, you know especially if you try on the smaller canvases um, you can always scrape it all off wash your canvas outside wash it off under the hose sprinkle whatever you call them in different countries we call them a hose here in Australia but that is gorgeous it really is lovely and because it's got the silver it's just glistening just don't like where those little holes are appearing and I think that's silicone, so don't add any silicone if you're doing a kiss and blow. So yeah, what do you think then? A bigger one in that, because the actual berry colour with that silver and pink is delightful. I think it would look pretty stunning on a nice big canvas. So yeah, let me know what you think. Wait for the photos at the end. It was a nice quick one for you guys. Uh, I may put a photo on of my, my a little... A video cam of my puppies if you want to have a look at my um they're two weeks old yesterday uh yeah yesterday so oh that does look nice just wait and see the photos at the end because it never looks as nice through the camera as it does in um real life but yeah very happy with that so let me know what you think thank you again for watching and thanks so much for subscribing so wait for the end and I will try and think of a Nana joke to put on and some puppy cam. Bye for now. Well, I hope you like that little um, Dutch pour and hazy kiss, kiss and blow. My Nana joke for the day is, oh my goodness, a book fell on my head. I only have my shelf to blame. Roll your eyes until next time. That one's terrible. Bye for now.